When I saw my sister Daria beating my dog with a stick, I felt hate heave like a caged angry beast in my chest. Out in the sun, the hair of my sister glittered like metal, and in her brown dress, she looked like a sheet dagger. Vinyuk hugged the earth and screamed, but I could not bound forward nor cry out to my sister. She had a weak heart and she might not be surprised, so I held myself. My throat swelled, and I felt hate rear and plunge in its cage of ribs. I was dirty when my father first took me hunting, all through the summer of the year. I had tramped alone and unarmed the field, set the forest around our farm. Then one afternoon in late July, my father told me I could use a shotgun. Beyond the apple grove, in a grass field, we swore a convoy of brown pigeons. In the open, they kept speaking to the air and gliding away every time we were in range. I can't choose them. I was dreadfully It takes them a long time. No, you can do it. Suddenly, a small dog yelping shrilly. Sh- came tearing across the moonlit plain of grass and the small trees. It raced across the plain in the long, slowly swoops on outgrained shanks that disappeared and flashed alternatively in the light of the cloud bright sun. The shot did not scare the dog. He came to us. Sniffing cautiously, he circled around and started to snap my fingers, and then he came to me. Not bad, my father said to me. Three birds, won't you? I went to the bush to get the birds. The dog ambled after me. He found the birds for me. The best of all the birds was torn. The bird had fallen on a spot where the earth swore bare, and its blood was spread like a tiny red The dog escaped the blood with his tongue. I picked up the birds and its warm mango flesh clung to the palm of my hand. Your key, I said to the dog. Here, come here. I offered him my bloody palm. He came to me and licked my palm clean. My key, reporter, I said, pointing to the dog. He put the birds in a leather bag, which he carried strapped around his waist. Father looked at me a minute, and then said, Well, I'm not sure. But the dog belongs to someone. May keep and keep him until his owner comes for him. Episode. You make a good pointer, father remarked. But I would not like my son to be accused of dog stealing. Oh no, I said quickly. I shall return him when the owner comes to claim him. All right, he said. I hope that dog makes a heart out of you. Bear you and I became fast friends. Every afternoon after school, we went to the field, chased squirrels, or to the bank of the river, which was fences, fenced by tall, blade sharp reeds to flush snipes. Father was away most of the time, but when he was home, he hunted with us. Bear you scampered off, and my sister flung the stick at him, and then she turned about. And saw me. Eddie, come here. She commanded, and I approached with a passion. Slowly, I almost carefully, she reached over and twisted my ear. I don't want to see that dog get it in the house, she said coldly. That dog destroyed my server again. I'll tell Berto to kill that dog if I see it around again. She clutched one of my face with a hot, moist hand and shoved me roughly. I tumbled to the ground, but I did not try or protest. I passed the face. Now, every word and gesture she held me, I caught and fed to my growing and restless hate. My sister was the meanest creature I knew. She was eight when I was born. The day my mother died, 
all of it continued to live in the same house. She had gone, it seemed, to another country from where she looked at him with busy annoyance and contempt. One of my solid memories was standing before a glass hut. My doll was cradled in a box. It was my sister's playhouse, and I remembered she told me to keep out of it. She was not around when I went in. The fresh banana hides were cold and mushy. The interior of the hut was raw with the sour smell of dying up and dead grass. Against the flowers, the doll looked incredibly heavy. I picked it up. It was slight, but it had a hard, unflexed limbs. I tried to bend one of the legs and it snapped. I stared with horror at the hollow tube that was the leg of the doll. Then I saw my sister coming. I hid one of the legs under one of the banana pelts. She was running and I knew she was furious. The walls of the hut suddenly constricted against me. I felt sick when a name was pain. My sister snatched the doll from me and when she saw the torn leg she gasped. She pushed me hard and I crashed against the wall of the hut. I heard my sister screaming. She denounced in a high wild voice. And my body ached with fear. She seized one of the saplings that held up the hut and hit me again and again and again until the flesh of my back and died, sighing with pain. Then my sister suddenly moaned. She stifled the slap sapling fell from her head and quietly, as though a snake were lowering her. She sank to the ground, her eyes were wild and scarred on the edge of her lips, drawn tight over her teeth, quivering lace of thought. I ran to the house, yelling for father. She came back from the hospital in the city, quiet and mean. Nothing I have ever done has pleased her. She destroyed willfully anything I like. At first, I took on as a process of adoption, a step of adjustment. I snatched and crushed every seed of anger she has planted in me. But later on, I realized it had become more of a habit for her. I did not say anything because when she told Bert to kill my monkey because it was snickering at her one morning while she was brushing her teeth. I did not say anything when she told father that she did not like my pigeon house because it stank and I had to give away my pigeons and Bert had to chop the house for k- into kindling wood. I learned how to hold my son because I knew we had to put up with her whims to keep her calm and quiet. But when she dumped my butterflies into a waste can and burned them in the backyard, I realized that she was spitting at me. My butterflies did not stick at her, and they did not smell. She too knew that my butterfly collection had grown with me. I wept. And I cried, and father had to call my sister for an explanation. She stood straight and calm before father, but my tear logged eyes saw only her harsh and arrogant silhouette. She looked at me curiously, and but did not say anything, and father je- began to gently question her. She put lightly listen. And when father had stopped talking, she said without rush, hate, or concern, they were chuckling ants. I ran after Bayuk. He had fled to the brambles. I ran after him, bungling his name. I found him under a low, shriveled bush. I called him and he only went bird. Then, I saw that one of his eyes was bleeding. I sat on the ground and looked closer. The eye had been pierced. The stick of my sister had 
stab the eye of my dog. I was stunned for a long time. I sat motionless, staring at New York. <sighs> On my way back to the house, I passed the woodshed. I saw a bird though, in the shade of a tree, splitting wood. Hey, hey, Andy, I've got something for you. Look, he said. You know, he said. That's how of a devil nearly frightened me to death. I never expected to find any sympathy here, he said. It nearly beat me. Who wouldn't get shocked? I could carry a good. I said half aloud. Yes, but he said. I did not kill it because I knew you would like it. It's bigger than the last one you found last year, right? Yes, it's much bigger. My sister was enthroned in a large chair in the porch of the house. Her back was turned away from the door. She sat facing the window. She was embroidered strip of a white cloth. I went near her. I stood behind the chair. She was not aware of my presence or being. I unwrapped the centipede and I threw it on her lap. My sister shrieked and screamed and yelled and the strip of the white sheet flew off like an unlanded hawk. She shot up from her chair and turned around and saw me, but collapsed again to her care clutching her breast. Doubled up with pain, the centipede had fallen onto the floor. But it's dead! It's dead! Look, look! It's dead! Then I came back to my senses when I saw the result of my action. My sister fell down and cried with pain. I regretted that I felt guilty when the damage has already been done.